Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 4th through the 11th. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Generally I focus on love readings, but you know that doesn't always come up. But you guys have been having pretty good luck lately, so this is for Cancer. Now, this reading is for somebody. Might not be for you. We'll see what happens. What does Cancer need to know for this week? Oh, yikes. You may be sacrificing yourself needlessly in a situation, or you could have fear of sacrifice. This card, somebody could be getting thrown out. And you notice this guy is naked, so I'm not sure what's been going on, but somebody could be being thrown out. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Somebody is stuck in a situation. The Eight of Swords. Mentally trapped in, in something. Somebody is trapped in their thoughts. And it's holding them back from love, right? Your own thoughts are holding you back from love. Is that what this is? Your fear of getting in something that's false, your fear of being taken advantage of is holding you back. Lack of faith in love. Mm, that's wonderful, isn't it? Maybe you fear rejection. Maybe you fear that you won't be accepted. But this Knight of Pentacles, this is a test, okay? Hmm. Ooh, Ten of Swords, a completion, an ending. Ah, with the devil. You're going to have to face your fears. You're going to have to face your demons, okay? You're tempted, right? You're tempted to take that mask off and break free. You're tempted to face these demons that you're holding on to. You're not alone. You're not alone. Ooh. There's a mystery here. There's something. This is all happening for a reason, okay? There's something going on behind the scenes. These are fears. The moon is about fears. Son of a gun. Now the seven, you're fear, you fear that you will be lied to, cheated, and deceived, right? Because somebody stabbed you so badly in the past. Or somebody has been stabbed, somebody has been hurt so badly that I, I think that you guys fear rejection. Somebody has been hurt very, very much. And now you have to really truthfully face your fears okay I think it's time for you to come out of your shell okay it's time for you to come and this is fear of rejection no shit so it is it's time for you to come out of your shell I mean the hermit is in his in his shell all right he's up on his mountain upright you know and he hasn't come down yet it's time. It's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to let go of this betrayal that, you know, whatever it is. It's time for you to go after your own happiness. You know, you deserve to be happy. Let go of your fears that you are going to be rejected, okay? Because, or let go of your fears that you're going to be deceived and cheated. Let go of that. You're sabotaging. This is sabotage. It is. You're sabotaging your own wish fulfillment because of the unknown. I mean, the moon is the unknown. It is. And your thoughts. And your thoughts are lying to you, by the way. No shit. They're lying to you. And the devil brings lies. 
Now this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is, you have to, this is about, I mean, the moon, you need to face reality. What's, what's real here? Are, you know, are you, is this a protective, protection tactic? Letting your thoughts get the, are you, are you subconsciously protecting yourself from falling in love? You could be self-medicating. You know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bury these feelings. I'm gonna bury these thoughts. I'm gonna bury these fears. It's like you're, you're throwing away an opportunity for love. When you have an opportunity to make a move, but you gotta make that move and face them, face the fears. Step outside of your comfort zone. Come down off of that mountain. Come out of your house. Come out of wherever you've been hiding. It's like you've been burying your, your, your thoughts, you know what I mean? You've been burying your feelings. Blocking love. Seriously. It's like, open your heart, Cancer. And I know that you guys have the biggest heart. I know. I do. I do. But it's like, you're not allowing anybody into your heart because it was broken so badly. It was. And if you think negative, I mean, your thoughts truly do become things. If you think negative, then that's what you're going to get. You're not allowing happiness to come in by letting your, your fears and your negative thoughts take precedence. There's an opportunity for happiness here. There really, really, really is. But you're going to have to just allow it. You're going to have to come out. Come out. And you haven't been. That's you. You haven't been. You need to find that willpower and that discipline to master your emotions, please. Lack of mastering emotions, lack of mastering emotions. And that's what this card means, and it is you. You have to master your emotions, find that inner strength to take the lead, and head in the direction that your heart really, really wants. If you want love, go that way. Find the strength to let somebody love you. Find the strength to go after your wish fulfillment. See, this is your wish fulfillment. You have to find the strength to have faith in love. It's like you've lost hope. That's a lie. You've been lying to yourself to protect yourself. And probably self-medicating. Going through some sort of repression. Staying in a space of... Kind of like hermit mode, right? It's like, oh, I'm too scared. Reluctant to move on. Reluctant to move in the direction of peace and harmony and happiness. Seriously. You're not taking the action that you need to take. And this action is in regards to opening your heart fully. Fully, fully. Put love first. Take a risk. Take a risk on love. That's what I'm here to say. Right now, you may be confused. You're trying to make a decision. Which option is best for me? And you know, you have this is a card of consequences. If you don't open your heart, then you're going to be alone. You have to put in effort. Somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody doesn't want to make some compromises. You're going to have to make some compromises. Right now, it looks like you're stuck. You're stuck. And the wheel wants to spin in your direction. It does. It wants to bring you 
what you're meant for. It does. That's why it's here. It's time for a change, of course, but free will does play a part, and you have to take steps. You see, see let me tell you, you are right underneath this card. And you're in reverse and this you your free will plays a part here it does yes it's time for a change it's time for you to begin that new chapter but you have to take the lead you have to drive the fucking ship excuse my language I'm sorry I lose myself sometimes in my words you are the driver of your own happiness Take that risk, Cancer. Take that leap of faith. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for your fresh start. There's an opportunity to start over from the beginning. Zero. Zero is before one. It's where you are at the very, 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 very beginning. It's like we are going to start over from the very beginning. Let's do this over. Reset. Reset. You have an opportunity to start over right now. But you are the driver. It's in your hands. Put the pedal to the metal and get your ass in gear. Instead of stalling. You're, you're, you are. You're stalling. Take a risk and communicate. You know, you're doing yourself a terrible, terrible injustice by not taking the steps that you need to take to move in a new direction. You're not, so the justice reverse is not doing the right thing. And you're underneath it. You're not doing the right thing by not having faith. Faith is needed. You need to have faith. Okay? You need to have faith. Yes, life hasn't been fair. I understand that. Life hasn't been fair and life isn't fair. But you are still the driver. You have the ability to change direction at any moment you do. All you got to do is be the boss, take the lead, make that firm decision to do so. Find the strength. That has been lost. Find the courage. Find the confidence. You may lack courage. You may lack confidence. You may lack the strength. But you've got to find it. Close that door that's held you back. Close that, that mentality down that you don't have any more chances. You do. There's, there's still an opportunity for love here. There is. There's an opportunity for success. Give up the... Let go of the wounds that you are carrying around. I know that's easier said than done. Don't let those past wounds hold you back from success. That's what's happening right now. You have a golden opportunity right now. Take it. Take that golden opportunity. You have an opportunity for something solid, stable, long-term, and abundant. This is this is this is the this is like the, the one of the best opportunities ever. Waiting for you to see it. Waiting for you to take it. Just take it. It's a golden opportunity for success. No shit. But you have to stay. You have to take it. You have to put. You do. You have to stand your ground. You have to. You have to take it in your hands. You're in control. Let go of the regrets. Let go of the worry. Let go of the guilt. Let go of the bitterness. Let go of the resent. And take that step. 
take that step that you have been thinking about taking. Make that move. You know what you need to do. Your intuition's been telling you what you need to do. Whatever it is that your intuition is telling you to do, it's part of the script. You are meant to do it. But you have to take the lead. You know what it is. I don't need to tell you. You guys all know you're very intuitive. You have your own psychic abilities. You know what this is. You guys have been reluctant to make a move and you know that it's time to make a move and you know what move you need to make and I'm here to tell you that it's a golden opportunity. Don't let your thoughts and your fears stop you from, from getting it. Okay? You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we have all the signs here. Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, we have Leo. We have Scorpio. We have Libra. We have them all. So it doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. I really don't like to get caught up on that. But anyway, maybe you've been burying yourself in everything but love to, to mask your or to keep you busy. Right? Maybe you've been thinking, you know what, I don't need love, I'm good with the money. Uh, maybe you've been burying yourself in, in money, job, whatever, to fulfill, you think that's fulfilling you, or you try to pretend that's fulfilling you, but it ain't. <sighs> Somebody has been observing from behind the scenes, whether it's you or the other person. You know who I'm, you've got a person in mind here, there's no doubt. And there's been behind the scenes observation, but there's guilt and regrets about this person as well. And maybe you feel like you want to make them an offer, but you don't know if they'll take it. You don't know if they'll take it. Will they take it? If cancer makes an offer, a proposal or whatever, will it be accepted? Will it be accepted? This is, this is making a conscious change. The Ten of Wands reverse is it's something has been dropped. It has already been dropped. It's been, the baggage has been released. The burdens have been released. Will cancer accept or will the person accept? If we can let go of the past baggage if we can make a conscious decision to drop the past baggage there's an opportunity that could be accepted because this is reversed beginning to realize that this is a valid opportunity that's what this is Coming out of the darkness, seeing the light. There is an opportunity for love here. Ooh, with somebody that is very worthy or for somebody that is worthy. This is a beautiful woman. Very beautiful. This is somebody who is worthy. This is somebody who is very nurturing. This is somebody who is very caring. And this is also... A new beginning it is because the, the Empress gives birth to a new life, a new beginning. It's a miracle. It is. She brings miracles. So I believe there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. Because you've experienced a great amount of pain. Remember we talked about pain under here? The Ten of Swords is right down in the middle. The pain has held you back. And now you have an opportunity for a new opportunity that could lead to love, but you're not taking the steps that you need to take. But there's an opportunity for a miracle to be to happen out of this. But you, your free will plays a part. 
So you have an opportunity for a new life with somebody. Could be, if you're a man, I mean, it could be, this is a Taurus or a Libra, but it could be any other woman. But this is, um, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. And it is a miracle. It's a miracle. It's beautiful. Growth. Love. And this person, and, and this is, if this is you, Cancer, because this could be you as well. If you're a Cancer woman. If you are a man watching, this is, this is who you are, you could have a golden opportunity with. A woman who can take very, very good care of you. This woman is loyal. She's wise. She is nurturing. She's motherly. She's stable. She doesn't play games. She knows her worth. She's not a cheater. She does not cheat. So if you are this woman, if you are a cancer, and you've gotten to this point, expect to receive a miracle. Okay. If you are a man, a cancer man, then this is who, who you have an opportunity with. But for both of you, it's in your hands. Because of that chariot card reverse, somebody's not taking the lead. They're letting their thoughts get the best of them. So is there an opportunity for love? Yes, there is. But you're, you're in charge. You're in charge. Hmm. Yeah, you've got to make that decision, don't you? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If you want it, go get it. Oh, oh my goodness. I wouldn't be wasting this opportunity if I was you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You are receiving a blessing. Accept it. Go for it. Do it. Don't let your thoughts mess it up. That's what I have, Cancer, for this week. Your intuition knows what you need to do. Do it.